Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and we're back here in American Truck Simulator 2. And in the last episode, I had a little bit of truck problems. Most notably, uh, what was it? Uh, gas. Yeah, I kind of run out of gas just up here north of Sacramento. Uh, we got here right to about there. We were within sight of the gas pumps, and we had no option but to call for assistance and from what I understand call for assistance and get towed all the way to Sacramento like really you know I would have liked to get maybe you know call assistance buy like you know 10 or 20 gallons of fuel why not <laughs> and then I could just get over here and go to the pumps but uh, that unfortunately did not happen anyway right now I'm down here in Oakland at Oakland Shippers because I have not done anything more than what we did in the episode and so um, oh yeah that's that you know what I should have done I should have hopped out here and come over here and unlocked that small little piece of freaking road that's what I should have done but it is to be expected anyway we have a little bit of road there. I will need to get gas. I didn't get a full tank at the service center, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, it is what it is. And we are also going to need to take a break because if I'm not mistaken, yep, we are getting tired. We're gonna need to stop for rest in 41 minutes. And yeah, we are going to rest here because reasons. Let's uh, hop it into gear. And so to rest, can I? I'm gonna have to go around out there. All right. Probably park up right about here. Is this going to be good? It looks like it, so we are going to take a break, turn off the engine, and take a rest. And we have $1,250, $59 from Yuri W. What I'm going to do is hop back into the menu because we are going to need to look for a job. And yeah, I wasn't going to even bother trying to look for a job before we rested, so what I'm going to do is jump into the freight market. I have not checked this out because of course a lot of the jobs would have refreshed and currently we are oh, oh, although $336 that's like nothing yeah but then the offer expires in four minutes I really hate these really really high paying jobs to go from the city to the city where is that exactly that's yeah that's all the way up in there Anyway, oh wow, 3430 per mile. It's an, yeah, it's an urgent delivery. Interesting. Going from an important delivery up to an urgent delivery, it's like a dollar per mile. Really? Are these the same? Yes, all these are the same, except for this one. 3164 versus really all right uh propane 3034 for a standard and propane really this one's worth 33 24 and this one's worth 31. they're the exact same deliveries that's interesting anyway we are not there we are here in oakland is there anything we can grab from oakland uh, machine parts, Oakland to Santa Cruz. Uh, we can drive rice up to Redding. I don't really care to go up there unless there's something. Here's a question. By destination, anything going up to Hornbrook? And anything we can get to in time? Let's try to find Fresno, Huron, Huron jackpot. Nothing going to Hornbrook. Really? 
how the hell am I going to get up to Hornbrook then if there's nothing going there? Huh. Alright, anything going to Pioche? Uh, Reno. Reno, Redding. Redding. Prim. Redding. Prim. Pioche! <gasps> Unfortunately, Car Carson City. Bother. And it's just an important delivery. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we're not getting there in three hours. The Placer and Sons in Carson City. If we were to take a look at it. Um, Carson City. Placer and Sons. That will take ten and a half hours. Well, almost eleven hours. So yeah, no, no. Let's reset that. Jump back into the freight market. And so... Yeah, about that. The only two places I have not been, Hornbrook and Pioche, there's only one job going to either of them. So at this point, it's pretty much taking the highest price per distance, other than this one, because that's not worth anything to me, especially since it's coming from Reading. And yeah, I'm not gonna be able to look at some of these. Let's take a look at what's coming from Oakland. So we got $15,000 here. Oakland to jackpot. 25, 14 per mile. What if we take a look at Oakdale? Oh, those are even worse. <laughs> oh, geez. 1973 per mile. I really don't want to go up to jackpot. Although one of these, what's over in San Francisco? Uh, San Francisco, no, I don't want to do that either. Plus it's probably going to expire by the time we get there. 159, it's Barstow, 2240. No, let's go to Stockton. Let's see what's in Stockton. To Prim. 33.24 per mile. The gallon to the gallon. So we are up here. Oh, let's cancel that. Hmm. Possibility. Do I really want to drive? Where exactly is that? Uh, Stockton. No, Stockton to Prim. Yeah, it's way up here. That's a thing. I'd almost be just as good looking for a job in Sacramento. We consider going up here is 96 miles. If we go to here, 98 miles. So yeah, if I'm going to consider that job, I might as well also consider Sacramento. So hopefully this episode is nothing but me uh, <laughs> checking to see what jobs are available. Because I'm right now, yeah, I'm sitting at nine minutes, so I'm gonna have to choose something. We're not gonna pick that. Uh, Sacramento to Reno. That's going through Truckee. Uh, Sacramento to San Diego. That's a possibility. No, 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 twenty-one. There's nothing really worthwhile. What about San Francisco? Ain't Nope. You know what? Anything coming from Fresno? 42,500 pounds. Here's the thing. I have $32,000. Um, let's hop out. 
Nope. Let's go to the bank. I still have this $50,000 loan. I was thinking 80,000 buying another truck. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to go back in the job market. My apologies if this is taking forever. <laughs> uh, Fresno to Winnemucca. 2620 per mile. Really? Fresno to Jackpot. You know what? I'm going to hop back to Fresno. I believe I should be able to garage manager. Now the question is, although I could tr quick travel to Las Vegas, what is coming out? <laughs> uh, what's coming from Las Vegas? 23... 31 per mile. No. Although, with that said, that would be a few new roads I'm possibly be taking. It's a quick possibility. Cars from the Voltason. It's a standard delivery. Not worth as much. $12,000. What is the maximum amount of money that I could really reasonably get? Uh, about 16,000, that's where I am at right now. Ooh, 19,000. Eli to Oxnard. You know what? I just might. Stocked into Prim. Yep. You're going to hop out of here. And we're out of here. And I'm definitely going to want to get gas. So I don't want to get myself caught out with an empty tank. Again. Oh. Stop the engine and fill up. And one hundred and sixty four gallons at two eighty two per is worth $468, $63. All right, we are on our way to, another thing I could have done was taken a quick job. It would pop me into whatever truck and then I wouldn't have to drive to wherever. I'm picking up the job. Now, is there any other alternate driving I might want to do on my way over there? Not really. Not really. Looks like I've already been to the gallon. Oh, we're at 55 miles per hour. Whoa. Whoa. You know, I should have hopped in there and got my truck repaired. Falling in this truck up onto the freeway. Oh dear. Whoa. <laughs> 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 
Maybe I should have waited for that truck to go ahead of me. It was not really safe. But uh, I'm in a rush. I'm in a rush. Oh, oh, whoa. Slow down. Cop in front of me. And $1,600 from Wilma F. That is nice. Nice to see she's making us some money. And yeah, 55 miles per hour. Next rest stop in 12 hours. Stay in our lane. All right, so we'll be exiting off here. And you know what I could probably do? Yeah, that's going to annoy me. Unless I specifically find a job that will take me through here again. There is that last little bit of road in between the Voltason right there. And the gas station. that we need to discover. There we go. I am content. <laughs> well, there is still that uh, little bit of road just uh, outside the garage. Uh, where is it? Uh, in Las Vegas. It's a little bit annoying. Pull back. We are on a, Oh, no. We're, we're now in a 30 zone. Thank you. Well, let's slow down even more. We were in a 55 zone. And there we go. And what I'd like to do... Yep, we're good. Right on red. And we've got another 40 XP for 100 miles of free roam driving. That is nice. Not that I necessarily wanted to do this much free roam. Bother. How much was that speeding ticket? One thing I did do is I downloaded a mod that makes the speed tickets a little bit more reasonable. They set them at the limit of Euro Truck, so it's not going to be like a thousand dollars for the speeding ticket, it's going to be like 500 or something. I'd have to check the specific details. There was another mod that I was thinking of installing which drops the speeding tickets quite significantly. Uh, it was like, what, 100, 110 for a speeding ticket? <laughs> it was uh, $130 for a red light ticket. All right, so we are here. And Stockton to Prim. This is going to take 469 miles, uh, propane 31,500 pounds. It is an important delivery, hazard class two. And yeah, we've done a lot of propane deliveries. So, yep, we're gonna take the delivery. And now, where is the, it's over there. Okay, yeah, this is a slightly different uh, pro Slightly different gallon setup. And 
we have that black trailer right there. There we go. Back to the trailer. The trailer we are hauling. I think we've hauled this before. And let's get out of here. Let's not run into that uh, pier. Well, there's another drop off point there. And now, now that we're taking this, is there a particular route we want to take? Oh, that's right. We're going to Prim. Hmm. So this is currently 469 miles. That is 572 miles. Well, about that. What was this delivery? This was what, a standard delivery? Or important delivery? You know what, I just might do that. It's a bit more driving. And uh, we'll, we'd get this and this. We've already driven this. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to do that because of reasons. Now, anywhere I want to actually, I could do this because I have this still to explore. I've not driven on this yet. Interesting. What I'm tempted to do, drive like that. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. There's a bridge here. Okay, there's not an off ramp there. Yep, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do that. And then over here, all right. And now, yeah, we're just, we're not gonna hop out. I'll get to this eventually. I could hop over here. Kind of do that, 620. No, we're just gonna stay on the highway. I can do more Las Vegas driving later. And I might just, once I'm done this, come up here to the chems and then possibly back here to uh, get my truck repaired because I think I'm at like 7% damage. So that is what I'm going to do. 710 miles, 15 hours, 52 minutes. Now the question is, is that going to be a bad thing? Possibly, although, was it 10 hour rest break? Um, we are going to want to enter onto the highway. You know what, I should be good. 11 hours, three minutes till we need to take a rest. And we have, we are definitely going to need to take a rest regardless. So, yeah. We should be good. We should be good. Exploring more roads. I think the map was showing me, if we pop into the map, 
Yep, I've explored 63.57% of the roads. I mentioned that uh, I had a goal to get to about 75% roads completed before I was going to take a break with this series. We'll see where I get to. But I'd like to continue this series for a bit longer. I thought I might be taking a temporary break over the weekend since... Yeah, um, <laughs> we had some issues and, oh, that's right, I'm going to want to get over and slow down because 35. Yeah, I had some technical issues, lost some productivity and uh, decided to take a short break, short break on my ATS or just just delay the episodes rather than uh, trying to rush to get them done come on go 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 there we go and 30 miles per hour this is the danger zone as you're trying to accelerate get the truck on the move there is a tendency to go a little bit faster and we are here in Stockton 14 hours 54 minutes remaining and this is definitely going to be a two-part episode I won't be making a three-part episode unless we get to over an hour and a half in the episode time. And there we go. Back onto the highway. I hate these on ramps. So annoying. Five hundred fifty six miles to go. Fourteen hours, twenty five minutes. And we are nearly at highway speed. Put the cruise control on. And sit back and relax. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I'll I'll find out after when I check back doing the editing if the mod is working or not. <laughs> But yeah, the, the freaking police fines are just insane in this game. Just feels a little bit unreasonable. And we are exiting off here. And the fact that there is a mod that brings them in line with Euro Truck means that uh, they really, really we're looking to punish players to uh, who drove fast and all that they probably thought oh yeah because uh, there's no satellite cops which means that you don't just uh, get a ticket when you hit the the specific criteria just automatic ticket there actually has to be a cop around in order for you to get a ticket um, they figured you know we'll just ramp up the police fines just because reasons because you know this game is in many ways very similar to Euro Truck so you think they would make the speeding fines and other 
I always call them speeding fines, but there's a lot more than just speeding in there. But they always make them... They made them way, way, way more expensive. Maybe it could be that the, uh, the dollar compared to the euro is just so atrocious that uh, <laughs> they had to, for purposes of inflation, but I doubt that. The euro is taking a hit regardless. Every currency is taking a hit. Hell, any, any currency managed by government or a central bank, oh, oh, let's slow down. Let's not get another speeding ticket. Yeah, any currency managed by a central bank or government is inevitably going to get devalued. If you had control of the money supply, wouldn't you want to just print excess money? If you had debt, you know, print off a bunch of money and just pay people with the devalued money, of course, Money, when it's first printed, isn't devalued, but it's only once it makes its way through the economy it gets devalued. And... Oh. <laughs> and so, yeah, governments love the process of printing money because they get to spend money at its full value. And then, of course, everyone else gets uh, punished by inflation something that governments have complete control over and if they don't they really should they can't claim innocence or ignorance when it comes to the value of their money the only way to not have a money that constantly devalues itself is to tie it to something of value like say gold and although the value of gold has fluctuated over periods of short term, it has remained, in many ways, a very stable currency. Far more stable than any fiat currency that we have or have ever had. Alright, at this point I'm going to take a break here and we'll finish off the delivery in the next episode. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.